first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this video will be regarding the complete overview of the topic ratio and proportion so you guys know that previous month we have posted totally eight videos on the topic ratio and proportion that is starting from the basic that is lesson number one introduction and ended with the previous lesson that is problems on ages so if you are preparing for any competitive exams these eight videos are more than enough to crack the questions if you are like preparing for any tough level competitive exams, you guys require some practice, right? So that's the reason after this eighth lesson, in the ninth lesson, I'm going to tell you where you guys need to practice all those ratio proportion question. So totally, we are planning to give you 440 question. So out of 440 question, initially you can able to see 250 question on a test package. So before talking about all those stuff, so let me have a complete overview on the topic ratio proportion, right? So first ratio proportion, lesson number one we have seen introduction about ratio proportion so lesson number two we have solved some of the basic question because you have to be uh, you have to be strong on the basics initially before solving the miscellaneous question so only in lesson number two i have taught you some of the basic question on the topic ratio proportion and then divided into parts and then girls and boys the question that is related to girls and boys and then question that is based on income and then question that is based on numbers right numbers uh, this boys and girls and divided into parts are most important for the easy level competitive exams and then we have seen questions some of the question that is based on income and then coins coins are most most important that is lesson number seven what I have uh, the two two types of coins concept most important for all the competitive exams if you are preparing for UPSC exam that concept is most important right and then the previous lesson that is based on problems on ages so previous lesson I hope you have watched that previous lesson there I have told you like only limited concepts I have uh, told in that problems on ages why because we are going to learn a separate topic of problems on ages and quantitative aptitude there we can learn all the concept so in the previous lesson I have just solved only five simple exams question to understand that how we apply the ratio proportion concept in problems on ages so according to me I think I have missed only one important concept not important it's also one of the concept in quantitative aptitude that is mixture allegation and mixture right so I thought of teaching it as a ninth lesson in topic ratio proportion but I didn't why because allegation and mixture is a huge concept right it, it's like a vast syllabus where the basic itself you have to learn for one hour one and a half hours so only i didn't teach that allegation mixture and ratio proportion but i have a separate video of allegation mixture on my youtube channel so there i have taught you the basics of allegation mixture how to solve the questions in the exams all those stuff i have told on my youtube channel on a separate video of allegation and mixture so don't forget to watch that so that's it about this topic ratio proportion so finally we are ended up with eight lessons so Next, you, if you are like watching all the videos from starting one to eight, so now you guys required practice question. So for the practice question, because most of the students were keep on asking that I have watched all the videos of feel free to learn, but where I should go and practice, where can I get all these sort of questions? So now it's the time to practice because we have learned all the eight lessons. So now it is time to practice. So what you need to do is if you already purchased the feel free to learn test series, one time you are going to purchase, right? one time it will be lifelong valid so the students those who purchase the test series kindly go to your dashboard in the first session quantitative aptitude so once you scroll down you can be able to see eighth topic ratio proportion if you are going to newly purchase the test once you after purchasing the test you can be able to see this topic number eight ratio and proportion so there we have given 10 tests each test contain 25 25 question so total of 250 questions we have given in the topic ratio proportion and then remaining 200 questions we have added on the test series that is on the uh, fifth column exam papers you can able to see ssc question papers ibbs question papers and sba clerk question papers so there we have added all the ratio proportion questions in that test series so totally you can able to practice 440 question only on the topic ratio proportion on our test series got it so uh, my only advice is initially don't go and write the test 
first learn the basics watch all the lessons revise all the lessons and then go and practice the test series only then you can able to feel that experience what is called learning and practicing right if you without learning if you directly go for practice it's kindly waste 100% waste because without knowing all the concepts writing the test series and making a mistake is completely waste of time so don't forget to purchase the test series you will get all sort of question next week you can able to see questions from probability combination permutation where most of the students are asking that why test series is getting delayed only because of this we want a students to feel that proper experience so that's the reason we are making this time for creating the test series so now if you learn if you are like regular follower of feel free to learn learn the eight lesson on the topic ratio proportions what i have posted on my youtube channel we have a separate playlist and then take the practice set of 10 practice set then you will feel how feel free to learn helps you to crack the exam so that's what we exactly need right next week i can post a video that how by seeing the result of the test series i can post a separate video so that's it about this video when there are a complete overview on the topic ratio proportion so thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so if you want to practice more kindly purchase the test series because we are more number of people are going to work on the test series on the content side so don't forget to purchase the test series and start practicing the question papers so thank you so much for watching this video bye